Hi, I'm Amber. Hi, I'm AJ. And welcome, welcome to, to Mountain Traditions, Traditions Homestead. Homestead. It is Amber and AJ at Mountain Traditions Homestead. Uh, we were challenged by Darren over at Down Under Farm and Forge to do this 40 question challenge and we thought it would be fun. Uh, it's a good way to get to know other YouTubers. Um, a lot of times you know you watch their content and like us we're a homesteading channel so you see a lot about our homestead and our animals but this is a good chance to get a, to know us a little bit better uh, and for us uh, to know you guys a little better. This is a little more, nothing too personal, but uh, more about us than the homestead, really. So we thought this would be fun. Like I said, we were challenged uh, by Down Under Farm and Forge. Uh, he is actually from Australia, and AJ enjoys watching him. He has lots of uh, blacksmithing videos. Uh, that's something that AJ is really into, so it was cool to find that. And uh, the way this works, we'll read out a set of 40 questions. I'll answer and AJ will answer and then we're going to uh, challenge three other YouTube channels at the very end. Um, I think the goal was to challenge six people but we're relatively new and we didn't feel comfortable tagging more than these three people right now because we don't feel like we know them enough and actually one that I'm going to tag, um, I probably watch a lot of them more so than they do us because they've been on YouTube a little longer and so they might find it surprising that we tag them, but we'll see. All right, so let's get started. Question number one, do you like blue cheese? Absolutely not. <laughs> AJ does not, I love blue cheese, especially in a salad or on something. I don't know, of course people might not even eat blue cheese if it's not in a salad or with another food, but I like it with something. As far as eating it by itself, I don't know if I would like that, but I love it in food. All right, number two, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke. Well, Diet Coke. Yeah, but. AJ drinks Diet. I drink regular Coke all the time. Uh, I tell people I have a Coke addiction. He's always like, Coca-Cola addiction. You need to add that <laughs> part in there. <laughs> but that's about the only soda that I drink. Uh, it used to be Dr. Pepper, and now I hardly, if I go to a restaurant and they only have Pepsi products, sometimes I'll get a Dr. Pepper. But, and that's also, we don't keep soda in the house, so on my lunch break at work or um, when we go out to eat sometimes is the only time that I ever drink it, so. All right, number three, in a relationship, obviously. Yes. <laughs> and we are actually, you guys probably don't know this, some of you might assume that we're married, but we're engaged and we're actually getting married on Saturday on Halloween, so. And today's Monday, so five days. Yep, five days. <laughs> We'll try right. to bring y'all along with that if we can. Yeah, we're not getting married till like 6.30 in the evening, so it's going to be a little dark. Um, and I know how to man the camera when the lighting's not good, but I don't know if somebody else will be there that is. Our photographer, of course, will be there, but she'll be taking pictures. She won't be doing any video. All right. Number four. I'll let AJ answer this one. Whiskey, tequila, or vodka? Woo! <laughs> Tequila is nasty, I think. I mean, there might be some out there that might taste good, but to me, the, I mean, I guess, is that in margaritas? Or yes, is it, yeah. tequila's in margaritas. Yeah, the margaritas are okay. But give me straight bourbon whiskey, or I do like vodka, but I always drink too much of it. <laughs> As for my answer for that, I don't really have a preference because I don't drink liquor that much. Um, I like wine, but I don't drink that much liquor, so let's see. Number five, 
hot dog or cheeseburger? Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends on what mood I'm in, but usually a cheeseburger. Uh, sometimes I'm in the mood for a hot dog, and when I do, I want like the cheap, old-fashioned, bad for you, nitrate-filled hot dogs. <laughs> I don't like anything fancy. I like the cheap, nasty hot dogs if I want a hot dog. Baked or uh, grilled, not boiled. Yeah, not boiled. Let's see. Number six kind of goes along with that favorite food. I'm not sure if this means like, do you like Italian or Chinese or like your literal. I don't think I could pick a favorite food because it depends on my mood so much. I would have to say, what do we eat the most of? Probably chicken. And that's kind of <laughs> new to me. Um, yeah, he didn't eat chicken yeah. very much until we got together so but now he eats a lot of chicken all right number seven what do you drink in the a.m. uh depends water or coffee uh same for me i always drink a bottle of water uh, as soon as i get to work in the morning or a cup of water or whatever i have with me and then usually i'll have a coffee before lunch um every once in a while i'll have a coke which is not a good habit, but that's like I said, every once in a while. But mainly, uh, always bottle of water first, and then usually coffee. Number eight, can you do a hundred push-ups? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my reaction too. I used to could do a hundred push-ups. I can't anymore. Um, I've got an autoimmune disorder going on, so some days it's good if I can get up out of a chair without falling apart. So <laughs> I haven't done a push-up since I was in ROTC in high school. So. <laughs> All right, number nine, favorite season. Uh, mine is by far fall. Uh, I love. I've always loved that time of year. Um, I have good memories from being younger in the fall time, and my birthday was in the fall. Uh, it's cooler. I love the changing of the leaves and all the activities in fall, so it's always been fall. But since we started homesteading, I have a big appreciation for all the seasons, for one reason or another. That's something that you come more in tune with when you homestead. Um, of course, in the springtime, I look forward to that. We're starting seeds, getting everything together to get going for the summer. Summer gets here. You're slam packed busy all summer and you can't wait for fall to get here to have a rest. And then when winter time comes, you can really rest because you're not chopping wood or only thing really to do in the winter time is take care of your animals. So the winter time is much welcomed to me now because it gives your body that rest that you need. I love fall, but winter's always been my favorite. Give me cold, negative wind chills. Love it. I know, everybody says I'm crazy. That's the Viking in him, I guess. Okay. Let's see, favorite season. Number 10, favorite hobby. Um, I'm not sure if I would call homesteading a hobby because we're trying to make that more of a way of life. So outside of that, um, music would be mine. We both uh, play instruments and we have a little bluegrass group that we play and sing with. So I would say as far as a hobby, I would have to say music. Uh, I guess it'd be a tie between leather working and uh, uh, woodworking, stuff like that. I love making stuff. So. He's really good at it. I always have a list with about 50 things on it for him to get started on next. Alright, number 11, tattoos. Um, I have two tattoos right now. Uh, the first one is on my foot. I got that one when I was 18 and it's actually related to music. Um, then I have one on my forearm here and this one I got about a year ago. Uh, me and Andre actually went and got one together. He got his first tattoo when I got this one and I plan to make it into a sleeve so soon I'll have one big one or lots however you want to say that. I got uh, Mjolnir with Hunan and Munin, uh, Norse mythology, um, and I too am working towards uh, ace, well, two sleeves. I don't know if you want two sleeves or not, but... I think I'm going to stick with one, probably. I don't know why. That's just what I have pictured, my preference. Let's see. Number 12, do you wear glasses? I am supposed to. 
You will hardly ever see me wear them, but yes, I'm supposed to. Yes, you're supposed to. <laughs> Driving down the road, just squinting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're but. not. It's, it's true, especially <laughs> at nighttime. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, number 13, phobias. <laughs> okay, I'll start. Um, I hate mice. I wouldn't say it's a phobia. Did you say it's a phobia? Yes. Okay, yes. well, maybe. I don't think it's a phobia, but Charlie's having a fit. I'm sorry, that's distracting. Uh, but other than mice, the only thing that I could say that I would consider a phobia, I don't know what it's called. We were just talking about this the other day. Oh, okay. Some people are freaked out by a cluster of small holes. I am. I can. I cannot deal with that. It, oh, it makes my skin crawl, makes my teeth hurt. I don't like it. I'll look that up and see if I can insert it on the screen here, what that's called. I don't remember. I know it's weird, but... Alright. Bears, snakes, nothing bothers me except oh. spiders. Yeah, spiders. Don't and we're like talking them. like, scream like a little girl. I do not. <laughs> well, a little bit. <laughs> if his sister is watching this, she'll get a, a kick out of this. When they were little, she was between him and the door when a spider came down like from the ceiling in his bedroom he didn't push her out of the way he didn't you know go around her he picked her up and excuse me picked her up and threw her across the room to get away from the spider so okay. hi sissy love you <laughs> <laughs> and they're uh over 30 years old and she still holds that against him but i don't blame her all right number 14 nicknames um I've never really had a nickname, I don't guess. Um, other than my mom and dad calling me Sweet Pea, um, that's really the only <laughs> nickname I can think of I've ever had. I've never had one from like friends or anything. Well, my real name's John. Everybody calls me AJ. I've had a few other names, but we'll stick with AJ. <laughs> All right, number 15, favorite candy. Again, it depends on my mood. Anything, it has to have chocolate in it. I'm not a fan of candy that does not have chocolate. So any kind of chocolate. Oh, Lord. If you're talking about candy bars, we're talking about Snickers or Reese's. If you're talking about hard candy, the Grandma Strawberry Candy, love it. All right, number 16. Do you believe in ghosts? Not until I met AJ, but now, yes, I most definitely do. And maybe we'll get into that in another video. We won't go there right now, but yes, Yes, do. he does. Okay. <laughs> Number 17, biggest downfall. Hmm. Why don't you tell me what my biggest downfall is? <laughs> he got scary. really scared. <laughs> no, if no. I had to say, I'm very impatient, and I know I am when you say that. <laughs> like if I get something in my head and I want to do it, I'm going to do it then and I'm not going to wait. I'm going to start on it then. So I, I'm sure I have many, but that's one that I'm very much aware of and I try to work on. <laughs> no, she's not going to say anything about me either. I know what I would say about AJ is that he's too nice. He takes too I much am nice from to people. A fault, so. Yes, he takes too much from people. Normally, I wouldn't tell everybody on YouTube what your fault is, but I don't think that's—it's a bad one for you to have. But as a person, that shows what kind of person you are, and it's not a, a bad thing in that sense. So. My dad always says I've had the patience of Job since yes. I was born. Yes. So, let's see. Number 18, rain or snow. Snow, without a doubt. Now, I love a nice uh, rainy day, but now that we have animals, it doesn't matter how much it's rained, still gotta go take care of them. <laughs> Even if it's rained all day and it's pouring rain, you still gotta take care of them. Uh, now that we have a garden, you know, it sucks sitting inside and it's been raining for a week and your plants are wilted and trying to rot and there's nothing you can do about it, so. I would say snow. I very much, I've always enjoyed snow since I was little, but now I really do. Sitting by the fire, watching it out the window, I, I can say I very much enjoy snow. Oh, I agree. You snow, snow too. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, but they didn't know. <laughs> Let's see. 
number 19 piercings. Um, I have piercings in each of my ears. I don't ever wear earrings. I'm very sensitive uh, to metal, so that's one reason. Uh, the other reason is I'm just not that much of a girl, to be honest with you. Um, I had a nose ring when I was 18 for a little while. Did you know that? I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> anyway, I had a nose ring, and because of my sensitivity, I have very sensitive skin, especially two metals, I ended up taking it out because it just drove me nuts all the time, but I really liked it then. I would not do it again, I think. No, knowing how much it hurt, no, no, I wouldn't do it again. Let's see. Number 20 is age. I just turned 31. I just turned 35. <laughs> I'm halfway to 70 and don't like it. Oh, dear Lord. I feel like I'm 70, so here we go. Alright, number two. Wait on the truck to go by. Number 21, french fries or onion rings? Again, depends on my mood. Anything food related would just depend on my mood. I don't, can't say I have favorites one thing over the other, but usually I eat french fries, but sometimes onion rings. If I have a choice, I'll take onion rings over any of those. Number 22 is kids. Uh, we have, let me figure out how to, I think of him as mine, but AJ has a son and he is my stepson uh, from a previous marriage. And we hope to have more, but if not, he is plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And y'all probably seen him on a video here and there, uh, Jacob. Let's see. Keep losing my spot here. Number 23, favorite color. Uh, mine is definitely blue, like a uh, bright aqua, between an aqua and a mint green uh, is my favorite color. Black. Black is my favorite color. <laughs> Which is the absence of color, but we won't go there. <laughs> Let's see. Number 24, can you sing? Can we sing? Eh? Do we sing? Yes. <laughs> we actually sing at church uh, most Sundays. And like I said, we have a little bluegrass group that we sing with. Um, I have been very uncomfortable singing up until the past year. And I feel like that's something God's trying to work with me on. <laughs> and I still get very nervous about it. But, well, hello, Charlie. Hello. Ow, you need your nails cut. We had him pinned up yeah. and somehow he got out. <laughs> well, we're going to have to pin you back up in a little bit. Figure out how you got out. Okay, okay. I see you. Okay, okay. run around. Don't knock the camera down. Can you sing? I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, he can. Every time he sings, like in church or anything, preacher's wife's always like, you need to sing more. You sound really good. And my mom came and visited one Sunday. AJ needs to sing more often. <laughs> So it's one of those things he thinks he can't, but he has a beautiful voice. All right, number 25, can you whistle? Uh, can I whistle? Yes, is it, can I carry a tune when I whistle? No, not really, <laughs> but I can whistle, and I can't whistle loud either, it's very quiet. Uh, I whistle a lot, I don't know if it sounds good <laughs> when I'm driving and stuff. But. That must be when you're by yourself, yeah. I don't really notice. <laughs> All right, number 26, where were you born? Uh, we were both born in the hometown that we live in. Let's see. Number 27, which is in Virginia, but we won't go into any more detail than that. Uh, 27 is siblings. I am an only child. I am the <laughs> middle boy of six, because I don't consider step. Yeah brothers and sisters, okay. step brothers and sisters, we're all brothers and sisters, so. And I love that about his family. He's on his mom and his dad and his stepmom's side. It's a big family and everybody's so welcoming and loving. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, and I look forward to after we get married, which they've accepted me as family for the last three years now, so. Uh, number 28, can you cook? Uh, I would like to think I can. She can. <laughs> okay. And I really like to, so. And AJ can cook. He can cook better than me. He won't say that, but he can cook better than me. <laughs> uh, and we're both good at different things. 
And he's, a, I will say this too, he's the cleanest cook I have ever seen, let alone the cleanest male cook I have ever seen. Number 29 is, can you swim? Yes, I can. Had to save AJ a few times. I can <laughs> swim, but I don't really have a phobia of water because I will get in it. But He has to touch. I have to touch bottom. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I freak out a little bit. And when I say a little bit, we were at the beach about four <laughs> months ago. Oh, well. Uh, back in June? June, July. July. Something like that. And I had a round river float just, you know, bobbing on the waves. And next thing I know, I couldn't touch. And I was going out to sea. She thought I wasn't. I was. He was not going out to sea. Okay. I'm here. AJ's between me and the pier. I'm looking down the shoreline. AJ, in relation to the pier, is floating backwards towards the shore. And I keep telling him this, and he's like, no, I'm floating out to sea. Help me. Help me. And then that causes Jacob to freak out. And Jacob's like, I'm going after him. And pulls, no, you're not. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we should have added that to your phobias, I believe. <laughs> not really of water, but of drowning. Yes. <laughs> or floating out to sea, whatever you I like saying. breathing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number 30, are you religious? Um, we are very spiritual. I don't really like the term religious. I associate that with negative things. Uh, I won't go into that, but, uh, yes, we love Jesus, um, and we hope that shows a little bit through our channel, but religious, no spiritual, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, number 31, shower or bath? Definitely shower for me. Uh, I enjoy a good soak in a big tub, which I never get to do because the last house that we lived in and the one that we live in now does not have a bath. All it has is a shower. So, I've not had one in a long time, but I do prefer a shower anyway. I prefer a shower because to me, you're just sitting in your nasty, filthy water yeah. in a bath. So. Anytime I would take a bath, I would soak in the tub and then get my shower afterwards. <laughs> Uh, number 32, big city or out in nature? Out in nature, without a doubt, is what we prefer. But we do enjoy, which I think kind of surprised both of us. Yeah. Uh, we traveled to D.C. last year. I had never been. Uh, he had been in high school, but I had never been to D.C. So uh, that was an experience, and I really enjoyed it. And it surprised me that I did. Would I want to live there? No. But it was a good experience. And it surprised me how quickly we learned how to get around in a big city. Yeah. I mean, we didn't drive, we used public transportation, and by the time we left, we were, I wouldn't say pros, but we were, we know what we were we doing. We knew how to get around. But I love visiting some of them, and I will say some of them. <laughs> D.C. would be a city that I enjoy visiting, um, but live there, no thank you. Give me wide open spaces and trees, please. My number 33 is, are you a good friend? Uh, I hope I am. I don't honestly have that many friends. I think it's uh, quality over quantity. <laughs> and I hope that I'm a good friend to the ones that I have. Uh, what's funny is I'm not friends with that many people my age. I've always been an old soul, I guess. So all of our friends are older. <laughs> we hang out with um, his dad and the guys who play music with and stuff all the time and we're very comfortable doing that and I hope they consider me a good friend. I guess I am. I mean, <laughs> you'd we're have not to very him. social. <laughs> no, I'm an introvert. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I mean, I enjoy like going to small parties and stuff and but we're not very social actually. <laughs> I'm sure that probably comes across. So it's amazing that we do YouTube actually. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell with my ums when I'm talking but <laughs> I'm not used to speaking publicly. So okay. Number 34, broken bones. Uh, yes, I have broken all four of the fingers on my left hand. When I was in elementary school, I was playing basketball outside on the sidewalk, tripped and went down on my weight on my hands and uh, broke off four of those fingers. Not sure if it's where I was so young when it happened, but that's one of the worst pains I can ever remember. So, <laughs> but it was probably just where I was so young and it was traumatizing because I'd never had anything bad like that painful happen. Uh, everybody makes fun of my little toes because I broke them several times and they're kind of 
offset and crooked. I'm not going to show them on camera because <laughs> it's awful. And this thumb, I don't know if you can tell the difference there or not. Uh, it's a long story. I won't get into it, but it's permanently dislocated and it, it's numb. I have no feeling in it. It was to no fault of him and we'll just leave it at that. All right. Uh, that was number 35. How many TVs do you own? We have one large TV in our main living room and then we have a small 32 inch and it's usually in Jacob's room. Sometimes we move it, especially in the fall time, uh, to our den where our fireplace is because we like sitting there by the fire uh, to watch movies and stuff. But usually it's in Jacob's room. He plays his video games and everything in there. So, two. Uh, number 36. Worst pain ever. <clears throat> I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. I would have to say... Hmm, it's down between two. I'm not sure that I could pick. One is a kidney stone. Um, I was at work one day and <laughs> was doubled over in pain. I thought I was dying. I wasn't sure what was happening because I had never had a kidney stone before. I had to go to the urgent care. Uh, so there's that. And then I shoved a piece of chicken wire through my thumb. Uh, and I actually felt it scrape my bone. And that was one of those things like I had to lay down in the yard because I, my ears were ringing, I was about to pass out, and I had to lay down two or three times before I got to the house because I knew if I fell, then there was nobody there to help me, so I just had to lay down until I could regain my consciousness enough to get inside the house, and I would say that's probably the worst. That was probably worse than the kidney stone because the kidney stone, I was bent over, but I was still with it. The other, I was about to pass out. <laughs> I'd have to rank a kidney stone at the top of my list, so. I, well, anybody that knows me knows that I'm constantly having pains in my back and stuff from what happened with the thumb again, not going there, but I just pushed through that, so I don't guess I could consider that the worst pain, so I'll just go with kidney stones. Yeah, and I guess when you have any kind of chronic pain like that, you, you build up a tolerance to it, because I think I have a pretty high tolerance for pain. All right, uh, number 37, do you like to dance? AJ shouldn't dance, I'm just going to throw that out there. Depends on how <laughs> drunk I am as to how much I dance, and we'll leave it at that. I don't really like to dance, no, like if we go to a wedding or something we'll dance, but do I like to dance? Not really, probably one of those things where I'm shy, so I don't want people looking at me. Again, while we do YouTube, I'm not sure it surprises me, but we enjoy that. I think it's because I can't see you watching us. I know you are, but I can't see you, so I'm okay with it. Number 38 is, do you like camping? Yes, we love to camp. We've actually never been together. We've been together for three years now, and we've never been camping together, which is a shame because we both love it. So we were gonna go a couple years ago, and a big snowstorm came through. It was very late fall, and we were gonna go like primitive camping, just backpack, and uh, not take much with us, and pretty much just a tent and what was in her backpack and stay for a few days but we didn't get to go. I guess that answer yeah. by those. Yes, we love camping. 39, are you weird? Yes, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I was not okay with that until I got to be about, I'd say two or three years ago when we got together. <laughs> when you find somebody who loves you anyway, I guess it's easier to accept that you're weird. So yes, I'm weird and I'm sorry, but I'm weird. <laughs> I'd say a lot of people would say I'm weird, um, and I'm okay with that. We're not saying weird's a bad thing, either. Yeah. All right, number 40 is actually not a question. It's uh, tag six friends, and like I said, we're new to YouTube, so we don't feel like we know uh, many people well enough to tag them, so we're tagging three today. Uh, I'm going to have their... Uh, links to their channels down below in the description so make sure you check them out. We watch these people all the time or we have kind of personal relationship with them. We talk to them, exchange some seeds. Uh, number one is Preserving Our Ways. That's uh, Hope and Ben. You can find them on Instagram and here on YouTube. Uh, they are 
looking for a bigger homestead and they are doing like an urban homestead right now which they do an awesome job of uh, they are just using their backyard and it is amazing what they're getting out of their backyard uh, in their house number two is black pack homestead that's Chris and Marilla Ogden and this is the couple that it might surprise them that I tagged them because I watch them all the time and they've commented on some of our videos here and there I wouldn't say that we have a very personal relationship yet but I would like to we really enjoy their videos so we decided to tag them and number three is that homestead family and that is Sandra um, I hate to say it but I do not remember her husband's name um, I have talked to her all the time but I've not talked to him very much so I don't remember his name they're in Florida um, so we wanted to tag them they have a lot of great content um, I think they're new to homesteading like we are uh, but you should go check them out I don't think I said, but Black Pack Homestead is in North Carolina, which is pretty close to us. I think they're in Western North Carolina, so that's pretty close to us. All right, so don't forget to check out those three channels we just mentioned, and also down under Farm and Forge, which is who tagged us in those 40 question challenge. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just leave it in a comment below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.